May is a month where work on the farm really starts to pick up. With the rising temperatures and spring rains, farmers must act quickly to stay ahead of the game. What you see here is a field of corn being planted. We received several weeks of wet weather at the end of April, which kept us waiting to plant corn until May. The rain is always good for the crops, but if the corn hasn't been planted yet, it can't grow. This is why farmers will spend countless hours out in the field during planting season. Thankfully, we finished planting and our corn has grown since. With the corn in the ground, we can sit back and enjoy the rain. There are many other jobs done on the farm in May. Here you see Nathan checking the gear oil on our semi. Here is Kendall spraying the fence line to make sure that weeds don't grow up underneath it. Okay, Kendall, tell me what you're doing. We're taking out these guards to put in new teeth because the old ones broke off. On the round baler. On the, on the round baler. So we have to unscrew the bolts to take these out, to take out the teeth, screw in the new ones, and then replace them and then put it all back together so it runs smoothly. Very nice. I'm greasing the drill. It's greaser right there. Plug the end onto the greaser and pump grease in the yeah, drill. Lubricates. Another thing we did this May was build a new fence. The old fence was very old and needed to be replaced. Bill. We got our first wire strong. There's a trigger we're taking out. To build a fence, we first laid out a wire, as Nathan said, and then began drilling holes evenly spaced along the wire for hedge posts. Very nice. What do you have to say about that? That is a uh, building fence. That's building fence. That's a hole in the ground. I dare. Here, do you have? Oh, I guess you took. What about you, cattle? Here, bruh. Kill me. Doing this. The next thing we do is pound steel posts in with a tool called a post driver. First, you gotta make sure it's lined up. All exactly straight in the line. Yeah. Then. Thankfully, the spring rains have softened the ground to make the posts go in easier. Otherwise, this can be a pretty difficult task. Once the hedge posts are in, we make sure they are in a straight line, as Kendall said, and then we fill in the area around the posts with the gravelly material that will keep them in line. We also make sure to tamp the area around the post to make sure it is secured in place. The final step in the fencing process is to attach the barbed wire to the posts. Put in these clips and the barbed wire to hold it to the fence post. This is our finished fence. Another thing that arrives in May is the first cutting of alfalfa. Alfalfa hay is part of the ration that we feed all year to our cattle, as seen in our feeding cattle video. Once the hay is swathed, we will let it dry and then rake it up into rows and bale it. As you can see, it takes quite a bit of alfalfa to last us the whole year. Thankfully, we get up to four or five cuttings a year from each field. We also swath our brome in May. 
Brome is fed to all of our new cattle that we are starting out. We get a lot of our brome from waterways, which are passed through a field where water runs off. The year-round grass helps prevent water erosion in the fields. We also chopped wheat this May for silage, since we are so low on feed this year. This process is very similar to our forage harvest video found on our YouTube channel. But as I mentioned in the April video, we are still low on feed from the drought this year. Chopping wheat for silage will help, but we are still selling more cattle than we are buying. Here my dad and I load some cattle up to take to the sale barn. Here is the sale barn we unload the cattle at. The cattle will be sold here at Farmers and Ranchers Livestock Sales in Salina, Kansas. Well, like I said, May is a very busy month. We'll end this video with a nice song from the cattle.